dodging Most of your enemies right there beside you I just want my neck and wrist lit with diamonds I just want my shoes and clothes Good morning, good morning, good morning Always Nigeria gang, always Nigeria squad What it do? Today is officially pre-op day and surgery day Yes, I'm having my pre-op and surgery on the same day so I have been in Miami quarantining for 14 days. Well, technically today is the 16th day. Um, but yesterday was a holiday, uh, Memorial Day. So I couldn't have surgery on Monday. So today here it is Tuesday. I was officially supposed to actually have surgery on tomorrow, Wednesday, but they pushed it up because I needed a different time slot and they couldn't change the time. So they just changed the date. As y'all know, I'm from Michigan, so I had to come to Miami and quarantine 14 days prior to surgery. My original surgery date was May 13th, and then they pushed it back to May 27th, and then they just bumped it to May 26th. So, with that being said, this is how I'm looking this morning. Just woke up. I'm about to get in the shower. This is my last day having this waist. This is the last day of this waste. This is after four kids. Let's see. So this nope. Let's see. Small. It's a little handful, but to be gone. Um yeah, so right now I'm just a little anxious. I'm about to actually get in the shower and shower with my antimicrobial dial soap. Um, I'm not able to wear any lotions or any creams or anything like that. No jewelry. Obviously, I don't have any nail polish on. These are my real nails. No nail polish. Um, I'm probably just going to brush either probably brush my hair into a bun because I just don't feel like dealing with hair today. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how or what I wear, which is just gonna be a big black dress. Um, like I said in the last clip, it is two sizes too big. So I could have actually had a medium, but I went with a 2X, yeah, or an extra large. I went with an extra large, sorry because um they said you're gonna have a lot of swelling and it's best to have a bigger um outfit on so it's just a big black dress i got it off amazon if you've seen my prior videos for what i packed for my bbl then you know which dress i'm talking about if you have not seen that video then pause this and go look at that video and then come back to this video because you'll know exactly which dress i'm talking about and what else i packed for my surgery um yeah so um and if you have not watched any of my videos you might want to go and check them out starting with the when i decided to get the bbl the pricing and all that good stuff and then i have leading up to um me actually having to fly out here i have videos of that and then i have videos pretty much of every day since i've been here in miami in quarantine and um stuff like that so you may want to go check those videos out um i think that is all kind of want to just get dressed and then i'll come back and show you guys what i'm wearing and i'll show you my setup for in the car i'm just going to like take a pillow so that i can lay over the back seat and uh probably two puppy pads i got the extra large ones um yeah, so that's it. I'm not going to really be looking like too much of nothing. I am probably still going to put a little bit of chapstick on my lips. Um, but really, I'm just going to wear the black robe or black dress robe and some slides. And I am going to wear a cami underneath. I'm just not going to wear a bra. I'll wear a cami though. Um, one of the compression camis so that I can prevent any um, like uh, garment rubs up against my skin and there goes the irritating fan thanks so before i get into the shower and start preparing for today i just want to say it is like 
for you know, 6 20 in the morning i need to be in the shower by 6 30 because i still have to wake up eat time and then i have to wake up my boyfriend brian um so they can eat shower and all of that stuff and i have to be at the clinic by 8 30 so i wanted to give me 30 minutes to get ready then eat have 30 minutes to get ready and then burn 30 minutes to get ready because the clinic i think is like 20 minutes away so we each get like 30 minutes of getting ready before we gotta go so i'll probably make them actually spend less time getting ready um what else oh so let's just all come together right now in agreement and in prayer for your girl always nigeria squad always nigeria gang i need y'all to come together say a nice little prayer for me if you're seeing this then obviously <laughs> the surgery is already over and done with so still give me our prayers for a good recovery hell um so i'm gonna pray right now for me to have a successful surgery father god i come to you right now humble and asking that i have a successful surgery that i wake up and i'm able to come home to my children in the name of jesus all four of them need a mother and i know that no one can do a better job than me of raising my children so i pray to god i pray to you father that i come out of this surgery happy healthy and most definitely alive because my children need me in the name of jesus i pray that my results are the results that i'm looking for in the name of jesus i pray that you guide dr gray's hands and i pray that there are no mistakes made i pray that he sculpts this body from you from the gods in the name of jesus i pray that I just come out. I don't have to deal with any swell hell in the name of Jesus. Well, limited swell hell. I pray that my, my recovery is an amazing recovery. I pray that I don't have any trials or any tribulations. I pray that there are no obstacles, no infections, no diseases, no anything that will stand in my way of having a good recovery. I pray that there is no necrosis or anything like that in the name of Jesus. I pray that this will be my one and only round in the name of Jesus that is needed. I pray that there is no other work needed unless I want work to be needed in the name of Jesus. I pray that this is the one round that I'm able to get the frame that I want and that it is amazing and that I am sculpted and I am happy with this result. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you. Amen. So with that prayer being said and going up in all agreements, I want you to say amen. And if you're watching this, like I said, I know that you're watching during my recovery. So I really want you to just say a prayer for my recovery and everything like that. And stay tuned for future content. But as of right now, your girl is about to hop in the shower. And then I'll see you once I'm dressed. See you in the next clip. Okay, guys. So here is my robe.
Babe, say hi. What's up? How you feel? Feel good. Hmm? Feel good, it's not raining. I'm talking about, about me going into surgery. Oh, I'm nervous. Huh? I'm nervous. You nervous? I'm gonna say a prayer. I already been saying a prayer. How you feel? I can see you in the mirror. I'm feeling like you gonna make you gonna pull through. That's good. Are you hungry? I can't eat. I know, that's the whole point. Nah, not really. I'm more so nervous. Today is a nice sunny day, finally. It's been raining for the last few days. It's been raining the last few days, so. officially um, fills out and signed all my paperwork. It was about literally a hundred pages, no lie. Literally, tons and tons and tons of paperwork. It's like 8.20 or so. And we'll see if I get called back by my time at 8.30. So I'll catch you in the next clip. Okay, y'all. <laughs> So it's 9.10 and I filled out my paperwork. I got my little wristband. Um, they had me sign some papers, uh, like all the receipts of all my payments. They printed them out and had me sign those. Like I said, the papers that I had to sign, it was like 100 papers, no lie. Um, and they just gave me my package, which consists of my BDL pillow, my phone, and my ad board and not my garment because they said I'm gonna wake up with that, which we all know. So, currently I'm just playing the waiting game. And I shall see about how long it takes. Okay, it is 10.15 and I am still waiting um, to be called back. I haven't gotten called back yet, like I said. My pre-op was at 8.30, but there was somebody else here for the same doctor as me, and her pre-op was at 7.30, so she got called back um, maybe 45 minutes to an hour ago, um, so she's probably going to have her surgery before I even get called back. Um, there was um, a young lady um, who showed up. She was with a different doctor. She already got called back, but she was part of the Always Nigeria gang, Always Nigeria squad. She um, recognized me and spoke and all that good stuff. So um, that felt good. So if y'all ever catch me in person, just know I'm the same way I am on video and I will speak back to you. So that was that. Just wanted to update you guys with the fact that there's nothing but to update you guys with. Yeah. So I'm actually going to just spend this time studying and um, going over my notes that I had emailed myself so that I could have them on my phone. Um, kind of irritated that I brought this because I probably won't be recording like full bodies. I don't know. Maybe I will. But I guess since I'm here, I can show you guys my BBL home. This uh, There's no real like grooves or lines in it that I thought that I would see like the other ones. It's hard as a brick. Yeah, it's really, really, really freaking hard. Um, let me see. And then obviously they gave three foams and then this is the abdominal binder. It's hard as well. And it all came in this little pack. Hold on, I'm trying to show you. Let me 
let me just straighten them. So I'm at their second location, it's here in Miami, which is, I guess, the Seoul Plastic Surgery location. So this is the little bag that they gave it to me in. So that's that. I'm still waiting. Nothing too much to update you guys with right now. Um, I'm honestly just ready to start this process. I've been doing the process of um, doing my wait. Now I'm sitting here in the actual office waiting. So it's not going to be much longer, guys. I know I've been sitting here and responding to you guys. And I definitely appreciate all the prayers and the comments that you guys have been um commenting so i am definitely receptive of the prayers definitely receptive of the um the well wishes and things like that i really really appreciate you guys waking up so early thinking about me and even you know thinking about me enough to reach out so that's amazing as usual you guys are amazing um yeah so one of you ladies asked me to uh it was s dot w dot i believe um asked me to update you guys as soon as i could and obviously as you guys know i definitely will um i'm going to really 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 try and get some footage from today uploaded um i know it probably will be tonight like once i wake up hopefully i can get it uploaded if not i hope you ladies forgive me but i will be trying to get all of my footage from today uploaded at least by tonight if not tonight tomorrow morning um depending on when my post op appointment is and how i'm feeling and all of that but i'm really gonna try to press forward and get the footage uploaded as i go so be looking out for that as usual i'll see you guys in the next clip hey y'all this is it your girl always nigeria is heading into surgery i'm about to get marked up I catch y'all on the flat side of the stomach and the fat side of the booty. Like I said, if you are seeing this, I've already gone through the surgery. So just pray for me a good recovery. And I'll see you in the next clip. This actually, before I go, this is the room for me to get marked up in. Obviously it has a scale and all of that good stuff. And that's it. <laughs> They have me a bag to put my possessions in, and this is my bag with my package. Okay, y'all, so I'm sitting here. It is 2.46 p.m. I literally just got my scripts because they won't give you your um, prescriptions prior to um, actually coming into your pre-op. Like I said, it is 2.46. I've just recently done my drug test, which is just a urine test. Um, they took my weight. They took... They took my weight, my blood pressure and pulse, obviously. Um, I just met with Dr. Gray. He's really nice. He, um, you know, he asked me if I had any wish picks and things like that. He made small talk. He made me feel really comfortable, whatever the case may be. Um, he did uh, mark my body. Um and I really do feel like, feel like he's going to be able to deliver the results that I want because he was telling me like, you know, that I have a nice frame already. And um, he did say because I've had the four kids, it may be necessary for me to have a tummy tuck. He said, but he's not sure because the skin might retract nicely. But he wanted to just put that disclaimer out there basically because he didn't want to over. Um, what did he, How did he say it? he didn't want to like give me false help so he didn't he rather like sell himself short i guess than um speak about over delivery and then i'm not happy so basically but he did say that i had a really nice frame and he did feel like he would be able to deliver the results that i would need but like i said i already said that i may or may not need a tummy tuck and that's just to be determined and if i do then so be it but i'm not opposed to having like a little not pudge but like a soft stomach because i don't mind that i like the soft natural look like i want my man to have a little bit to grab on yes he's gonna have a lot of ass to grab on but i want him to you know still be able to cuddle with me and i'm not feeling like you know a rock hard man laying up next to him so i'm not opposed to having like a softer stomach i just want it to be a flat stomach so i'm not opposed to that um so yeah 
um like i said it's 246 they just gave me my scripts they just gave me um my iv as you saw so i'm sitting here getting my fluids i'm still waiting because there is one person ahead of me and i he went to do them right now uh, he finished marking me asked me if i had any questions looked at my wish pics and then he um told me that he had one person he was about to go and ahead and do now and so i'm just waiting they did inform me that because i was kind of concerned about how i was going to be able to let my ride know let ryan etap e know to come get me okay sorry that was mia aesthetics calling yeah why the fuck did they just call me and tell me my post-op appointment is at 6 30 in the morning i mean i know that i do have an exam tomorrow at noon so i guess it is best for me to have the earliest appointments possible but god damn i already woke up at five o'clock this morning came here and was on time my appointment was originally set for 8 30 um i'm gonna tell you guys about the um about what happened in another video so be looking for that content um as to why it is now 2 46 and i'm just now in the back just got marked up and stuff like that so i'm gonna tell you guys it's nothing to do with my end everything to do with me at aesthetics end so everybody who has been here all day we have all been here all day waiting and i'm gonna tell y'all about that in another video i can say it's cool because you know another girl noticed me from um youtube she says she also watches my channel so that's what's up as well so two people have noticed me from my channel and i just want to say y'all always nigeria gang always nigeria squad y'all come through y'all come through y'all do y'all thing when y'all do y'all thing you feel me I, I i appreciate you guys 100 percent. all of you guys are um still telling me you know that you love me and that you're sending all the prayers and you're sending you know good vibes positive vibes positive energy and just waiting on my recovery and for me to you know reach out to you guys and things like that and i just appreciate you guys i just want you to know that i'm sitting here and obviously once you see this video i'll be out of this so i have been still commenting back to you guys as you've been commenting to me because i mean i was just sitting here so why not why not reach out to my people you know y'all reaching out to me i might as well reach out to y'all um what i am gonna do is stop recording for a little bit because my phone is not all the way charged because like i said i've been here since eight my phone has been off the charger since five this morning it is now almost three o'clock so i do want to have a little bit of charge um so yeah i'm about to just stay here you know let this iv run through and wait on my surgery i'm about to just say another prayer i just talked to brian um and that's that so catch y'all in the next clip that'll probably be recovery um hopefully etap does what i told her to do and grab my phone and record from the time i get into the car or at least record me getting into the car and all of that hopefully if she remembers so we'll see how good of a camera woman she really is this is gonna be the test y'all hey guys as you can see i made it you can't even tell my shape from um <coughs> surgery right now because they have all of this cotton and stuff in but i just want to let y'all see i definitely have projection definitely i know some of that swelling i go down and also like i said some of it is um padding like i don't know if you can tell but of course there's you can kind of see there's uh, some type of padding to absorb. I definitely am bleeding a ton. As you can see, they didn't put my camisole on, so I'm trying to cover up for you guys. Because I don't want my boobies all over <coughs> YouTube. But I definitely said that I was going to try my hardest to get you guys as much real raw footage as possible i have had to pee four times since being back and i've been using that urinal like crazy i am bleeding like crazy i have six puppy pads on the bed and they are all like damn near full of blood i just ate just took a percocet i'm about to lay back down and hopefully take a nap but i'm in so much pain and i'm just so irritated I can't really sleep. It's hard as fuck to lay on my stomach because it's like a burning sensation at I guess the bottom of my stomach where the incisions are and it kind of feels like it's stretching. 
I know I'm talking with my eyes closed because I'm trying my hardest to give you guys this footage. I'm trying to give you guys this raw as possible and when it's happening so that I can remember. Um, I definitely feel like I got hit by a bus. When I woke up from the anesthesia, I was just calling for my boyfriend. And um, he's been very good with taking care of me and so has ETAB. He got me in the car and I could tell that he was really nervous. He started kind of going off on the lady from me because I guess he felt like she was rushing me and she was being too rough and impatient. So he kind of went off on her. Here's the fan. It's kind of hard for me to talk, so I'm about to probably stop recording now because I can't really yell. <clears throat> I tried laughing earlier. He cracked a joke and it killed my stomach. My back is killing me from the lipo. But definitely see some projection i'm really hoping that my butt i don't have like a shelf butt it looks like it is because of the cotton so i can't wait till tomorrow pre-op is at 6 freaking 30 in the morning so i'm really excited to get out of this five so i can see but i'm not gonna lie i'll be happy with the amount of projection that i have for the swelling to go down. Dr. Gray said that I had a great frame, so he definitely thought that he would be able to give me the results that I wanted. So we shall see once I get out of this faha. I know I have swelling, so I'm not like obviously thinking that I'm about to just come out of this faha and be coke bottled up. I know I have a long process, a long road of recovery, and I'm just gonna trust the process. So that being said, guys, I'll see you in another clip or another video. I'm not really sure how I feel. So just stay tuned for more content. Okay, so here it is after surgery. As y'all can see, I'm laying down. Um, there's a little bit of blood on the compression socks. These are the compression socks that Mia gave. These are actually what is known in the medical field as TED holes, not compression socks. You can tell by the hole. It's just me laying down. Um think he's gonna get different angles I don't know what the heck I was saying but you can just see <clears throat> different angles I apologize for the low voice my throat is killing me it is really dry so here you can see some of the pro um, projection obviously <clears throat> Obviously, I'm in pain. I feel like I got hit by a bus. You can see the more um, shiny parts are um, fluid and blood mix. So that's what the shiny parts are on the fire. This is a stage one garment, I believe, in a 2XL, which I was surprised. I heard a lot of girls that I thought were smaller than me in 3XLs and 4XLs. Mine is only a 2XL and it's still loose fitting. Um, so, <clears throat> the puppy pads have been switched once now. And it's just, just another angle. Can't really tell because uh, I'm in all black. So, you can kind of see the projection from the sides only. Welcome to the recovery I'm standing house, up, Or if you're in person. Like you. If I was in a tan faha, you would be able to see the projection from the lying position but that was lazy obviously i'm not how many of you youtube uh, so far i've taken like i said in one of the prior clips one percocet at eight two tylenols at like 8 45 with the percocet i also took a um um antibiotic and what happens when you go to surgery with the Tylenol, I took a nausea pill, so I'm Dana Strong, which is also known as Zofran. Um, I'm damn near ready for another one. I feel like the medicine is more so making me sleepy versus taking away pain. But that's just psychological, I guess. I don't know. So there you go. I ain't hating y'all. I know it sounds like I'm hating. She thinks she's a celebrity already because she's in Miami for a butt job. Okay. All right. Look. Look, on, look on YouTube right now, though. 
that's my channel y'all go to Eddie channel. Baby Mason channel and subscribe if you haven't already she probably she don't promote a nigga like me but but listen though that's okay. my car right there his I have a little, YouTube channel little where he's car, putting together his race, race car Hellcat or not run it oh, hey listen here these motherfuckers they all got boyfriends send them niggas to my channel tell them to come buy this car for sale what I built it you want to, and you about to see the engine here you go look on TV we on TV and shit look there you go yeah what? Well, put all that together. I'm I think I was mad, YouTube so he started trying to get more footage of me. But there's the motor. That's me. That's my big ass edgy hand. I promise you. I promise you. He tap. She here. His she in the channel building. is. This 80s is what an Airbnb look like. I'm racing not racing channel. Is there an underscore in it? We're going to have to pick the uh, next no, Airbnb. So it's 80s 80s. Okay. okay. Well, shit. Baby. It wasn't my fault. You made these arrangements Racing without channel, me. I was supposed to be in Detroit. You can see where your husband or boyfriend can see him. You hear you. Putting see. together his race car. No, actually, I mean, I'm enjoying myself in Miami, even though it rang like every four hours. It rang okay, and I'm shit, but it's cool, though, because it'd be that good rain. Like, that fresh shit. Yes, it's long. You got it in. What? Oh, they, they want, I think they want to see my shit right now. Oh, okay, let's get back to the butt. So, I had to carry her to the car, right? I don't, I, I, let's be honest though. I didn't like how they wheeled you out the back door. I didn't like that. Even okay, it was a nice little know. sign that said "patient pickup" and shit. But they wheeled her out the back door, y'all. You know. See, look at me. I'm I'm working up there. Oh shit. Let me let me turn this off and get back to your video. Is you okay, Miss Nigeria? Look at the squad, squad, gang, gang. Say hi. You sound like you hating. I ain't hating. Yes, you do. Or my you're supposed on. to say it like you love me and like you support me. Squad. That's better. That ain't better. Yes, it is. When the medicine ain't all in her, she all mean and shit. It ain't in me yet because it ain't start kicking in. This shit hurt. What See, I the take whole so thing far? is they don't know what your butt look like before. I took a Percocet. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. I took a Percocet. At what time, v -tab? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up this window right here and let a lizard get in here. Now you can't run, and then you're gonna have to get be friendly with the lizard. Geico. The Geico lizard. No, let me stop playing. Motherfucking bug flew in here earlier. I'm trying to update them. Update them. I took a Percocet at eight, and then what time is it now? She don't even know what you're talking about, y'all. And at 845, I took two Tylenol. That motherfucker empty. It looks like that. And I took a. Uh, on Denistron, which is the Zofran for the nausea. Mm -hmm. But when I took the Percocet at 8, I also took uh, amoxicillin for, obviously, to prevent infection. I told y'all, I already peed three freaking times with my urinal, so I definitely recommend that. And as far as this shower curtain, she definitely recommend now. that because I've been bleeding on the shower curtain even with the puppy pads. I ain't even staying here, y'all. I'm getting me a whole hotel room because shit. I ain't about to be having blood on me in the morning. Boy. And she sleep wild too. She gonna forget about her ass hurting and been the road over. I do not sleep wild. You lying. You lying. You're lying. How you know when you be sleep? Nigga, how you know when you be snoring? Okay, I snore, but I wake up to you all on a nigga. I, I be on you because I want to be on you. It's no. not because I sleep wild. No, you sleep wild. That leg be no, everywhere. I, I throw the leg on top that of you. That leg right like there be everywhere. I be like, damn, man. I'm a big nigga. Because I like it on top of you. No. Yeah. It's not because I sleep wild. E-Tab was in the bed. I wasn't fucking rolling on her. I she bet was rolling you on me. Didn't she roll on you, E-Tablet? E-Tab, you was rolling on me. I was sitting in one little corner. Sleep. Y'all two sleep wild. That's about that. All right. I'm about to get up so I can show y'all these puppy pads. God damn it. All right. You got to keep recording, babe. Girl, shut up. Because I want them to see how I get up. Oh, they don't see how you get up. Because I ain't about to help you if I'm recording. I wasn't asking you to help me up. I didn't ask you to help me up. The last nope. The doctor time. said she has to walk. She Walking has to and getting walk. up is two different things. She and has, that wasn't the doctor. She has to move on her own. I was trying to pick you up from the door. They're like, no, sir. No, you cannot pick it up. You must walk. That's not... I'm having this talking. Yes, there was. You're racist. Please put the top up. She, not, uh, e tab want to keep dropping the top and shit. No, no, no. Like she, must, she must have the top up. Okay, hold on. 
Hold on. I'm like, okay. No, my boobs. I don't want my camera. That's when you use a little blurry thing. <sighs> and put it in, on the. Oh. Uh, uh, Ooh, let's, let's, uh, no, I do edit you might have to blur out the blood, though, at least. No, the, the, yes, I you don't do. Have to. If you got little, young subscribers, you can see it. Let them see. I I put my stuff as not for kids. Uh, I don't want nobody under 18. Well, there you go. Have to edit this shit out. I'm not going to even show it. You have to. Uh -huh. I put not for kids. Okay. 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 Okay because I move like a turtle. But I think I'm moving pretty good. It just hurts like hell. Like I got hit by a train and it burned. I think I got up wrong on here actually. I should have got out on the side instead of trying to get out on the foot of the bed because that was like a long way down. Like down towards the bottom of the bed and then down from the height of the bed as well, that was too much. I would recommend going over the side slowly. I was doing it. The, my insurance policy on all of this was that I what never do you want? sold. I just kind of wanted to do a turn right. and I never sold it. So if anybody meet and took my Dude, I don't want it. Like, I had always like a gifted, little gifted brisket. I okay. Had, I had a little box no, of Topo Chico on the corner. Me. Just to let me people know my loop so I know. Okay. Donate if do they wanted. It was unenforced. So I gotta know if I gotta do a, you know. Whatever. I didn't look. I never did it for the money. Yes. My background was in the real estate world. You know, that's how I made my living. You know, if I could Hold your balance. break even for my expense, great. And lucky for you people like Topo Chico. Including you, Max. I'm a big fan of Topo Chico. I love so. Topo Chico. So uh, now is our quick fire yeah, round. Obviously, classic true. podcast thing. So. Um, hit him. <laughs> if Kanye West was. I'm not gonna be what I'm saying. I can't stand up straight. I'm probably just gonna have to edit that because I'll just do a voice over here. Then. I know that was a long ass turn on. I know, but it's the shit hurt when I move. Okay, I just wanted to do a pull against the white. Cut. Cut.